Love don't mean a thing I thought love was everything My mama told me love ain't everything It just causes more pain Love don't mean a thing I thought love was everything My mama told me love ain't everything So No my scary apartment basement. When I was four years old, my family and I used to live in a huge apartment. Right. Along with the apartment complex was a huge basement where we could do our laundry. However, in order to get there, we had to take the elevator. That elevator looks sus as a motherfucker. I'm just pointing it out there, just saying. All right, I'm just throwing it out there. You feel me? And if every time we have to wash clothes, I'm not going to be the one to go all the way downstairs into the basement just to wash some clothes. Mom, you know, brother, like, you can go ahead and do that. Like, I'm not, unless we all go down, not we, unless you all go down there and wash clothes together as a, um, as a whole jump, then yeah. But I'm not going there, down there by myself. I'm not even going down there with y'all. So I'm just saying, I don't even know why we're here. Just saying, I did not agree to this shit. One day, my mom was doing the laundry. My brothers and I accompanied her. My two brothers were playing together. Meanwhile, I was wandering off to the dark basement's hallway. As I walked in further, I saw bloody footprints that were the same size as my feet. Oh, damn. I followed the footsteps, and they suddenly stopped at the end of the hallway. I looked up and I saw two kids. Oh, a boy with brown hair and brown eyes and a girl with blonde hair and brown eyes. They were both my age. There was something odd about them. But like any other five-year-old, I just ignored it. My ass you did. See? This boy that drifted off again. I'm tired of these mother clucking kids just drifting off. Without no notice, but that little boy is a prime example of somebody that was born with the clocking up genes. Just saying. And what do you mean? It's like it's something off about them. It's they have red flags in red. All over them. What are you talking about? What? What do you say? He was five or something? He was like a regular five-year-old. I just ignored it. My ass. When I was five, I didn't, I didn't ignore shit. I didn't. I didn't. I No, hell no. Jesus, bro. God, dog. I turned my head around to see if there was anyone else in the hallway. But there wasn't. As I turned my head around to look at the kids again, they vanished. Oh, damn. I was confused. I mean, how could that be possible? Don't go. There was only a wall in front of me. What? A few days later, I was getting into the elevator. As soon as I entered, I saw the kids again. I asked them where their mom and dad were, but they didn't respond. I turned around and I pressed the button to go to the third floor. And as I turned back to them, again, they were gone. I was shocked. So I told the janitor about what happened. Apparently, there was a horrible situation some time ago. This mother clucker is in cahoots. He's in cahoots. He's in cahoots. Just clucking. Saying. He's in cahoots. Along with any and every employee that works in this uh, apartment complex. And anybody that's six miles out, within a six mile radius of this complex, is also sus. Is also in cahoots. Just saying. The family used to live here and the parents killed their own children. Now their ghosts haunt the whole complex in search for their bodies. Wow. Several years have passed and we moved out. Years? But I still wonder if they ever ended up finding their bodies. Hell no. Nah. They're going to spend all of eternity, eternally, eternity doing that shit. Son. Son. 
like a part of me because of these kids and just and they just clucking up what it what it seems like on a regular basis because of that that makes me a part of me a small part of me makes me think i shouldn't have kids right because i don't want them to you know do some bullshit like this ever right but then the other part of me is like i want to have kids because i know like my genes i have adidas genes right meaning i'm almost never going to get clocked up that being said my kids are almost never going to get clocked they're 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 the chances of my kids being in a cluttered situation is far less than someone that doesn't have Adidas jeans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the chances of my kids having, I mean, being in a cluttered situation is a far, far, far less than someone who has kids, but that doesn't have, they don't have like, you know, the Adidas, you know, genetics. They're just like regular ass kids. Just saying. God damn. And if you have to go to an apartment and there's a basement. Like, I understand, like, some apartments may have a basement for, like, where you park your cars and shit. Right? But, like, if you... If you if you live in an apartment complex and you're yeah, first of all having a basement is just you know it's already clucking up in it in it in itself. But if you have a basement and it's like that where it's like you have to wash clothes like the laundry and all that washing machine dryers all that down there, nah, nope. You better find somewhere else, please. Cause that you just you that's how it's us. Really sus. You just asking for that shit. I guarantee you, you gonna get fucked up. Probably first day you move in. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. And I love you. Stay happy, my family.